investigating to see whether the owner of a winery in Dushore was the victim of a hate crime. The owner of the business found damage done to his property this morning. News Watch 16's Nikki Cries was in Sullivan County today and is here now with the story. Nikki. Marisa and Scott, when the owner of the Birdsong Winery got to work this morning, he found much more than he expected. Lots of damage, which he says happened because he's Jewish. John Crane and his family have owned the Birdsong Winery near Dushore for about 10 years. It's a place where wine brings people together. But now the place is torn apart. When my nephew was helping me with the winery and uh, the vineyards and I went to go to breakfast, we realized that we had been uh, under attack by uh, anti-Semitism, uh, terrorism. One of the first things you see at the winery is this flagpole, which normally holds both an American and Israeli flag. But now only the red, white, and blue are flying high. The tires on Crane's truck were slashed, glass was broken, and the winery sign damaged. Some of the worst damage at the winery was here outside of the tasting building. Crane says it looks like someone actually drove through here, backed into the building, and knocked it off of its foundation a little bit in the process, damaging a plaque that is very important to the family. How are you supposed to feel safe when you like walk up to go grab some breakfast and then all of a sudden you see your tires are slashed and you're just like, you know, what the heck, we work hard for nothing, you know. Crane believes the damage is the result of a hate crime and it's not the first time he's experienced racism. We've had uh, some instances where even people that are in charge of the community have uh, openly displayed their uh, dislike for us. Crane tells me he is heartbroken. We uh, try to live peaceful and, uh, you know, as, as good stewards as we can, you know. So this is uh, the reward you get for being decent to your community. I spoke to state police who tell me the crime happened sometime between 6 o'clock last night and 8 o'clock this morning. And Scott and Marisa, troopers are still investigating whether or not this actually was a hate crime. All right, Nikki, thank you. And welcome to Newswatch 16. We are glad to have you. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you. Well, still no cause or...